Peace and Understanding class. This is Professor Johnson, your professor. This is the first video of the year that's being posted for the course. I'm glad that everyone has made it back safely to this institution of higher learning. Hopefully we can hit the ground running and be successful in our endeavors. As I've said in class thus far in our initial meetings, that our most valuable asset is time. Individualistically, time is something that we can't take back and you must be cautious of what you give your time to. You can't go back and change anything from the past. It can't be reversed, nor should you worry too much about what the future holds. Don't take that in the negative connotation. I mean, you should not create excessive worry about a thing in the future that's out of your immediate control. You should try to make good choices. And as I've quoted often and said that life is a series of choices, every choice has an outcome, good or bad, based on your options. So I want to give you multiple options to make logical choices going forward in this, in this semester. As I've said, I am trying to create burgeoning scholars, those who are interested in learning about yourselves, learning about history, and learning about who you are. Okay, that is one of the major objectives that we have here at Southern University. Again, I am not the enemy and I will do everything in my power to try to aid you in this endeavor. So with that being said, I spoke in class today about a assignment and I mentioned that I would post a video in reference to that assignment. Also, <clears throat> our eBooks will be loaded shortly. We, we can't hold anything against you if we haven't equipped you with the information that is needed for you to thrive. So with that being said, just sit tight and bear with us as we get that straight. So the assignment that I'm referencing is uh, language of the ancestors. And it's an exercise that we've been doing and it's very fun. We, we will be learning some Swahili terms. You will have to commit these terms to memory, be able to recite them define them and perhaps even write them down. We may do an oral quiz or you may have to write it. So with that being said, be prepared for uh, either one. Now the words are on Moodle in your class section and it, the tab states language of the ancestors. There's only 25 words. So I'm going to pronounce the words quickly and you can go back and access the video. I'm going to pronounce it and pronounce and state the definition. So bear with me, listen, pay attention. And this is an exercise for you to be able to uh, go back into. Okay? It's only 25 words. Sikomo means, is a formal greeting that means hello. Sikomo. You, you will see the words there. Asante sana means thank you. Nakupende means I love you. Nakupende. Usiku umweme means good night. Usiku umweme means good night. Sawa sawa means okay. Sawa sawa is okay. Habari means hi or hey, a body. <clears throat> Hapana means no. Undio, indio, n-d-i-o means yes. And hapana means no. Begi, b-e-g-i means bag. Kuere is spelled with a K, but it's pronounced with a Q. Kuere means goodbye. 
Chiere means goodbye. Cuba, Cuba means big. Jamila means beautiful. Umpinze means girlfriend or loved one. Umpinze. Samahani, Samahani, Samahani means excuse me. Samahani means excuse me. Unzuri or inzuri, not un, in, inzuri. It's the N in front, N Z U R I. Now, sometimes when we're pronouncing these words, that's how we're going to talk about it more. That first letter will be silent, like Django. The movie, there's a D in front, D-G-A-N-J-O. It depends on the letter, if the word combination, if the letter will be silent. So this let this word uh, for big, for good, in Zure, the N is pronounced. Sometimes it'll make the N sound or it may make, a, make another sound. Uh, <clears throat> moving on, moving on with the remainder of the words. This is going to be a brief video. This is going to be a brief video. Hesebu, Hesebu means math. Hesebu means math. Bustani, Bustani means garden. Bustani means garden. Uh, kateu, kateu means shoe, kateu, and uh, uh, kierabu, kierabu means welcome, kierabu, uh, hamjamboni, which is one of my favorite words, hamjamboni means how, hello everyone, or how is everyone? I'm John Boney. Okay, I'm John Boney. Wanga, Wanga means stadium. Wanga means stadium. Uh, and that is all 25 of the simple terms that you will have to learn. We're going to have fun. We're tapping into something that is relevant to us. So, uh, we will say, uh, quiere, quiere, goodbye. But again, we had a lot of fun last semester with the students learning the different phrases, and we're going to learn some phrases as well. Uh, quiero bu, Nina Faraha Kukutana, no we we, Mimi Nina, Professor Terrell Wayne Johnson. Welcome. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Professor Terrell Wayne Johnson. So in closing, peace and understanding, watch the video, you get a chance, tap into this and start uh, going over the words. If you have any further questions, those will be addressed in class. Go Jaguars.